time to go to bed again. Sleepy, sleepy. And then the final arc, maybe. It's a happy game where happy things happen. Don't worry about any of the dramatic tension. <laughs> Who am I? Has he, have, have they used a name to say who I am? Or, or has this woman just been talking to me directly? So I'm wondering if the twist will be that I'm a different person. You would think that I was the husband in the family that lost their child. Wait, Crow, Roy, and Matthews. Matthews, why is that name so familiar? Wait, Jake Matthews? Uh, no, that can't be right. Jake Matthews was killed. Well, she's thinking, she might be suggesting it exactly what I was just thinking about. I'm wondering if we're playing as one of the victims. So t she's talking about, like, you need to understand how you were wronged. And I'm like, it's, that's all weird because... In a way, the people that, while it's tragic what happened to the child, a lot of the individual people involved didn't do anything inherently monstrous. Like, it's just how the system, like the system itself failed the child collectively, but many of the individual people were just doing their jobs. And not even like in like a Nazi soldier just doing their job sort of way, but like that one, the doctor was just like, we have several children and we can only give the, we, we can only uh, treat so many of them, I think is what they were saying. And your child doesn't even test positive for the thing, for the, for the thing that the treatment treats for, whereas the other children do. So they're going to go, they're, they're going to go first. Like, that's not completely crazy. What if they don't, what if the child doesn't even have that disorder if they're not testing positive? Admittedly, this stuff's so vague and not told to us and, expl and explained to us in exhaustive or complete terms, so... I only can guess what they mean with some of that stuff, and I'm not totally sure. I don't know. But mostly it's just somebody like massively overreacting. Not over, like they're they're reacting to something understandable, but what they their form of lashing out is where it becomes an overreaction when they start becoming a mass murderer. That's some. Um... There's only one more floor to go, and then you can leave. She sounds very sad. Did she just discover something? Has it been a day for... Is, is this all happening in one day for her, or is this actually us coming back the next day in real life, too? Because in the simulation time, you could just simulate passing. Go on. You know how to kick off the cycle. What the hell? Where are people at? Do you still talk to me? Okay. Concerning how he doesn't even, like, react to me. Oh, only one way to find out. Actually, it's just really disorienting. Is everyone silent? Oh, that's fucking creepy. Everyone's initiated the serial killer sta stare. Weren't you- you were a woman last time, right? Act ver- What? Who, why, what, how? Oh. Oh. They're all gone. You! What are you doing? Get, get, get away! It wasn't my fault! It wasn't me! Ugh. Ugh. No! 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 <laughs> Oh. So Matthews was thrown in front of a train. Mr. Crow was murdered at a restaurant, is my takeaway here. 
Eat your, eat your sandwich. Not sandwich. Eat your omelet. Mystery. Sur Let's see. Mystery surrounds subway death. A man died yesterday when he fell in front of a downtown subway train. Initial reports of the incident were confused with rumors of a terror attack being to blame, quickly dismissed by officials. There are also suggestions of a possible homicide, with some eyewitnesses reporting seeing a hooded figure rush at the victim before he fell to the tracks. But these have been unconfirmed. Police at the scene were quick to allay public fears. Captain John Stokes of the San Francisco Police Department told reporters, We're still investigating the circumstances around this death, and at this stage we're ruling nothing out. It could be that this was simply a tragic accident, possibly caused by a heart attack. He added, Our investigations are continuing, but in the meantime our thoughts are with the victim's young family left behind. Recycling staff, re recycling staff threatened to strike leading academic ways in on Crow healthcare debate. Faith for all. Go. He's getting very short with us. Hmm. Ah, fuck. We're really fast forwarding now, aren't we? <laughs> Jesus. Just teleport directly all the way from the the, re the restaurant to the elevator. Startling. Why didn't she put you in here, Alex? What was Maddie up? My ears. Ow! Don't do that. Don't make that sound. Ah. So Maddie put me out in here? So I am... I am not Matthews. I, they just call me Alex, right? Wait, what if she's Maddie? And this is all like mindfuckery. That's a lot of alcohol. Like, more than you can actually drink. Lindell Hardwire. Rat poison. Poisons... Rat poison to poison... Po uh, rat poison to poison Dr. Wright? Did they poison her lunch or something? The kitchen? So Jake Matthews was pushed in front of a, pr a train. Dr. Wright was poisoned. There's the subway death thing. Is her death mentioned here? And how are we planning on killing him? That's his map of the tour across the United States as a politician. No mention of his death. Look at the computers. Can't go around here. Focus, Alex. Don't let your memories get in your way. Don't let the truth stop you. Use this, these memories that are rightfully yours to keep yourself going. We're gonna make this right. All of this. Don't let your memories get in your way. Don't let the truth stop you. Isn't that, isn't getting our memories and the truth back the goal? What is she talking about now? Down, up, down. I'm calling on behalf of my... Uh, of my partner. Yes, Alex is ready. We've read all the documentation. I, I have all the signed paperwork right here. Of course. What? No, no! You can't! I'm sorry Alex missed the first time slot. We won't miss the new one. Please, make sure everything is ready. The, the brochure, it... Alex will... really enjoy the pool. Do you see now? Do you see what she did to you? 
He never agreed to this, to any of this. Never agreed to be in this hospital? The pool. <clears throat> Do I need to go to the pool? Like the last place I haven't been yet, I suppose. The pool. Divorce settlement agreement. This is the divorce. That is a lot of... That is a lot of... Oh... <clears throat> okay. That's somebody writing a signature over and over again because they're trying to figure out how to duplicate it. Yeah. Oh, boy. So she found his signatures and she kept going until she could duplicate it? So that she could sign the divorce settlement and so on with his signature and also sign him up to go into this thing where he gets his brain gets put in a program. Which like on some level it's like that's really unethical to get someone trapped in this kind of thing, whatever the fuck this is. But also was he a mass murderer? And did he finish mass murdering everybody or did he only get a few of them? Because like... If that's the case, did she just save lives? Maybe that of even his own life and the other victims, and maybe even her own. Since when somebody's when somebody goes all mass murdery, the the spouse is not out of the question. Like, what if she was going to? What if he was going to kill the rest of them and then, then you know, murder suicide, like kill kill his wife, then kill himself. If that's what they were going for. Then would then maybe he maybe she prevented a lot of death by getting him stuck in here. I don't know what to make of this. I'm assuming that's Alex. Or Altair. <laughs> Desmond. Are there any creepy mannequin people in here? To accost me? For deviating from their expected behavior patterns? I'm not psyched about the glass being by the pool. Once that goes in there, it's hard to find. <clears throat> There's a chandelier. Framed kind of like a circle. Is this a witness puzzle? Like, do I have to stand in a specific spot that makes it all conjoin, I wonder? Oh. I just have to do what it said on that on that paper. I think it was down, up, down. Grabbing my note paper again. That is a fourteen seventy four. Damn ballpoint pen always quits in the first letter. That's pretty clear. <clears throat> well, kind of clear. It could be nineteen seventy nine. I don't know. I could try both. It could be 1979 or 1474, because we draw nines and fours rather similarly if you're allowing that shape. Entry 114. I had to raise it. 
If John thinks he can force me out for trying to give this company a single moral fiber, he can think again. The Penrose has given me enough influence here to cause a riot if him and the rest of the board don't back down. There are clients in there that shouldn't be. It's not safe. I've got someone in support doing what she can. She'll get to him. Uh, she'll get into the system and run through the things herself if she has to. She's capable enough. I just wish I could be more help. So the the guy that we keep reading the notes from is aware of the fact that somebody's in here that's not supposed to be in here. Maybe many people. It's pretty fucked up. This would be a, a hell of a thing to do, for example, to like your political rivals and other antagonists in people's lives. Just lock them away in the, this digital fortress and then they disappear. The end. Blurk. Hi. Hi, how you doing? What's up? All right, well, that's creepy as all hell. Could you stop watching me, please? I don't want another jump scare. Stop it. This isn't, I wasn't was expecting this to be a horror game. I don't want to have this back, background stress of once every four hours, there'll be a sudden jump scare. Fuck you. Nope, 1474. It's, they're not nines. Get out of here. Alright, what does floor five look like? One final mechanic? Or a boss fight level? Or... Oh, it's one puzzle. There's no dots. It's just one puzzle. So, yes, boss fight. It's a boss fight level. Okay, that looks like the back of a computer. <laughs> that looks like the audio ports on a computer. Oh, no. Please make your way to the nearest exit and make room for emergency services. Oh, no, it's a subway. Can I go down here? What the hell? I can still hear you. I can hear everything. I... Um, keep going. You're nearly there. Expanse. A view, a window into a new world. She's sounding really strange now. I think something's wrong with her too. Survival. It's the same thing, really. Oh, can I just cross this tape? Oh, you can just cross the tape. Can I cross that tape? I can. What's this? Weird lovers. What's that do? Oh! Some breaking news. Oh my God. Initial reports of a suspected terror attack. Multiple sources are claiming the downtown subway Let incident is allegedly a homicide. Witnesses claim a person wearing a hooded jacket rushed at the victim who fell into the path of an incoming train. Police are at the scene. This was it. I, I remember. This is the night that Matthews died. What? What did you do, Alex? What did you do? I mean, I believe it was a premeditated murder, but I guess you don't know that because I only know that from all the the comments, all the various messages that very very clearly explain that that's what happened. But we've we verified that she can't see anything. Let's try to make sense of this diagram. So it's non-interactive. Blue, white, white, red, green, white. And there's some arrows. I was at a red spot, but I don't know if that's related. Oh, that might just be a subway platform map, but there's, I don't see anything to do here, so... We'll see. I can't go over there without... I would need my orange ability to warp over there, but even then, it's like, is there a platform to land on? Oh yeah, that, that dark area is a lip, so yeah, there's enough room to land. But I have to get that color. I don't have. Is 
staircase. Something to work with. Ten rows. I'm calling on behalf of my partner. Yes, Alex is ready. You've read all the documentation. I have all the side paperwork right here. Concern. We're gonna get our reason soon enough. Can I look at anything around here? Screens are all non-interactive. That that one piece of paper is weirdly dark. Like, what if this was some kind of protection being in here against him hurting someone else or himself or something? It sounds like, at the very least, Matthews is already dead. Tundra. Expanse. So this is- oh. This game's called the Spectrum Retreat. And that symbol is Spectrum. So those, these are the different locations the Spectrum program can take you to. There's the Survival Program out in the wilderness. There's the Tundra. There's the Penrose, which is where we are. There's the Expanse. Go out into space. They're, they kind of open themselves up for sequels if they want to. A lot of places to use orange if I have it, but I can't bring it in with me, so there must be another one in here. Ah, there's some orange. There's a lot going on there. Well, I must be trying to leave with green, because the, ex the exit is only white and green. So my goal is to get a green and leave. Then the next platform probably needs me to have green. be a little worried that if I die and or mess up this puzzle, what if I have to start the entire thing over, including all of its, like, cinematic moments? That'd be a little frustrating. Let's see. I can't do anything here. I can make one of these orange, but that's a blue door back there. Probably want to take you with me. Yep. Well, we're down here now. Shit. Aha. I can walk on that wall if I want to, which maybe I do. I don't know. If I encounter one of these, I should probably use it. Otherwise, if I hop off something, I could be in some trouble. Uh... Oh, this is the original shape everything was in. Now I can get back and forth across here. Ooh. I need to pick up two more oranges for this one. I could do that. No, I can't. I can't get if I If I use this orange, I can't get back. Oh, that's what those are for. That's what those are for. Okay. So, I have one right now, and I need two more to go forward. All this trouble jumping over these things.
Hmm, now I'm up here. Isn't that interesting? Oops. Hmm. Oop. So, white, orange, orange. Blue. Now the blue is escaping with us. I now have one blue. And I was intended to do that because I can escape via here with that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, blue takes me in here. I think I'm maybe supposed to leave it there since it's right on inside the door. It's like the... Okay, so I need green to go through here. Wait, but that's like the escape. That's like the end of the whole level, isn't it? Huh. But then I'll need blue to escape? Oh. Put the blue here, and now the escape is primed for later. Okay. Where do I go next, though? I need to get that green. Uh, did I want that? I have it now. There was this ledge up here. That gives me access to blue. Another blue though, why? What do I do with another blue? I could use a blue to get up there. That's the green I saw earlier, so this should be my escape. And because of this blue, I can leave. Hey! Victory. That's the end of this whole zone, I think? Cool. Here I am, worried I'll have to restart the whole level if I fall off a ledge or trap myself with a, a color mistake. Orange. Green. I just, I got an orange at a previous station and used it to get green here. Colors may be matching up. Blue. Well, I couldn't leave that one with the blue, could I? Hmm, that looks like the exit. It has the elevator. Is that the end of the hallway? I think so. Tundra. Tundra. Lots of repeating ads. So now we're gonna go in and get our blue. Gonna fall. Is that floor safe? I mean, it has to be. Yeah, that's just tile. It's not like all the other death floors I've seen before. Woo! Huh? 
Ooh, all right, we're fine. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals is where we're going with some of this stuff. Uh, do I want to go down there? Oh, there's a hallway down there. Hello, green. How'd you do? And now I can walk across this. What other powers do I have? There's a green over here that I don't particularly care about. Right, at the beginning there was a green door. A source of infinite orange. Do what with? Ah, I'm gonna need an orange in there. Uh, let's put you here so I don't lose you. Losing things is bad. I think that's all set. Let's not get too much orange on the map or bad things happen. Let's see. Yeah, green's how I got here, but not how I got in. This is the hallway I took earlier. How do I get over there? I can make that the... Mm. If things face the right direction... Because that becomes the floor, so I actually need the orange in here. <clears throat> I think I want to get another orange. Let's see. I have to be careful here. I have to be very careful I don't trap myself. Could this be where the orange is? I think so. I should be able to see that. I have to keep the green so I can escape that pit or I'm in trouble. And now I can fall in here. Shit. Uh. Did I want to do that? I didn't mean to land on that, but I don't see anywhere else to go here. Um. There's no orange grapple points. I don't want to mess it up. What? I can't get up the stairs? There we go. But can I walk up these? Your character colliding with this thing kind of jumps in the air. Without, that's not me. I'm not jumping right now. It's weird. Your collision makes you go in the air a little bit. It's surprisingly hard to jump up these sometimes. Alright. So that's where the orange had to be for the previous thing too. So I had to have another orange prepped already. All without losing the green down the hallway, basically. Ah, this one has a lot to process. I think I want to take that with me. Where am I now? Right, you thankfully can't get caught in here because you can get around this way. Oh wait, but without the rotations I can't leave. <sighs> so there has to be an orange in there, but I also need an orange to navigate through here. To invert the gravity. So you should probably rest here. Get my green back. That's not here. 
There you are. I think the step I took there did need to happen though, because I needed to get that orange out of here. If I tried to if I tried to put an orange here and also pick up another orange, I would have put the green in there and it would have gone away. So I think walking out was worthwhile still. Gotcha. I think this is our final run now. I think we've got it set up. Shit. Forgot that this is the part I need the green for. God damn it. There we go. You take a rest. Really? Nope, got it. Going for it. Okay, so now there's an orange in the middle of this sequence. I've got a blue up there in the bathroom. It's really weird looking at that sideways. Here's a random bench just to really mess with your perception of reality. Hooray. And that, that cube's here because once I have the blue, that's the only way to get rid of the orange so I can continue. So now I need to go back in there but find a way to get the blue out. That's pretty easy. That's easy. Right. I don't want you. I'm going to go through the barrier, grab the blue, put the blue on the outside cube, grab the green, leave, blue, done. Yes. Now we get to find out what's on the blue platform. Oh, jolly good. I can't wait when we find out the horrible, horrible bad thing that happened. We've got so much to look forward to. Hooray. Whatever we're coming in here with, we have a blue already. So white. Grab the red to go through there, green to go through there, blue to go through there. Oh. I can go towards that. What is happening? All right. Are we trying to do the same thing in reverse or no? I just leave, right? Do I hop down? If I have wide, I can warp towards those things, but I don't see why I'd do that. No, that's just how I got there. Do I just go? Oh boy. Okay, this makes sense. If things are upside down, I can now access the one that doesn't have a jump pad. I think it's this one? I can just walk in. And there's the exit. Well, that was a trip. Oh, we're going to the roof. Belvedere. Alex.
Somehow I don't think we're going to go to bed right now. Floor one, really? Oh yeah, it says go to bed. Really, we're going to go to bed again. Your wife, the ex-wife, she... She was trying to protect you. But you weren't just a victim. You wanted to hurt people. Maybe you still do. There's always a plot twist. It just seems like this time it's not the narrator. This time instead of the narrator, it's our character is secretly a terrible person. Hello. E right. Crow. You blame them for your son's death. And Matthews is dead. Right and Crow. They were next. That's why she put you in here. Maddie found out what you were planning, and this. And this last person. It's you, isn't it? These assets, the, the QA keys, the clues, the, the ones that have been modified from within the simulation and remained despite the cycle resets, those were from you. You've done this before. You've gotten this far before now, haven't you? But you've never left. You needed to forget, but... You were compelled to free yourself time and time again. So all the clues about how to escape were somehow left by previous versions of me that were then forced to forget again? The chandelier? Really? That seems really hard. Behavioral... Uh, sorry. Behavior increasingly suspicious, particularly... <clears throat> particularly pronounced in the mornings. Seems to be experiencing both uh, visual and oral hallucinations. Very concerning. Most unusual. Bless him, he simply must shake himself from the malaise in one way or another. I fear he may not want to do something rash. He may want to do something rash. Spectrum form 86D of user evaluation. Name Alex. Extraction times per floor. They were keeping track of how long I took. Apparently. Ranked 1 through 5 on appearance and hygiene, stability, behavior, mood, and insight. Is it ranking me on whether or not I showered or something? Could you even use the restroom in this game? 5 deaths, 8 retries. Ah. FAO, the manager. Do not under any circumstances let me leave the Penrose, ever. I will try to leave. I know you can't physically stop me, but I beg you, do whatever you can. I'm in danger, I'm in danger to myself and others for my safety and everyone else's. Please keep me forever. Alex. So all these, these nine cubes are all mine? Entry 121. I've lost. I should have known when this much money got involved, they'd prioritize maximum intake. I've got till next week to leave the office and never return. My journey here is over. I'm dumping these logs into the construction engine. We'll see how they manifest on the inside. If you're reading this, you have to protest. Spectrum is corrupt, through and through. I'm relying now on her. I can only hope she doesn't get caught. This is Cameron Worrell. No, that's not me. Why the creepy observation room, though, if it's a simulation that they can see me in regardless? I don't understand. Like, the visual of the- ooh, they were watching through the door is creepy. But, like... Why would this room exist? That's bizarre. 
Well, shit. I'm a danger to everyone, and I'm going to escape, maybe. And she tried to help me, and it's all her fault. Probably. Whoopsie. Better go find that mind wipe button if there is one. <laughs> Better hurry up. Otherwise, Dr. Wright is going to get rat poisoned. Although that seems pretty preventable. Just warn her about the rat poison strategy and then she won't eat at the kitchen and haha, -ha, averted. Do if you leave. Maybe it'd keep me more occupied if this place had real books instead of this thing repeating over and over again. Maybe Alex would have read for a while. What if he just made the simulation to run it like one-fifth speed? Then if I was in for here for a year, five years would pass outside. It's very pretty in this game. Good morning. It's good to see you well. And look, the weather really has picked up, hasn't it? As you'll likely recall, we've had this conversation several times before. This bespoke hotel experience has been built around you and your needs. You rejected the simulation when it was full of guests and entertainment. So we adapted to your needs. You were put in here to save the others. To save you. It is you. my duty and my privilege to ensure your needs are met. You suspect you are a murderer, and that if you leave, people will die, including you. And so you true? chose to remain for all these years. I thought you were just a grieving parent. I, I thought Maddie betrayed you, trapped you in here. I, I never knew. Every time you have discovered who you are, you've made the right decision. Together, we've kept the world safe from you and kept you safe from the world. It's always a choice. You, you can choose who you'll become. You don't have... No one has to die. As ever, all I need is your say-so. At your command, we can go back inside. You can do the right thing and forget all this pain. Alex, what you saw, that's not who you are. That's not who you have to be. That's who you were. The choice is yours. Leave or stay. I think the choice here is to walk that way or walk or, or walk back behind me. Honestly, she seems kind of stupid. That's not who you are. You don't know me. She doesn't know me at all. So everything she says seems really misinformed and stupid and dangerous. She should probably revise her approach to some of that stuff. Like, Jesus, come on. Don't do that. But also, like... Uh... I, like, I, he already killed someone. Like, he already killed someone and got, and got, and is put in there to stop himself from killing more people. And he, apparently, he, he occasionally finds his way out of here, but I think the main reason I escaped this time is because she told me to escape. If she doesn't interfere, I can probably just give in to the simulation more. Anyway, goodbye. I shouldn't have... It wasn't my place to put you through this. I thought I was helping. I'm sorry. Honestly, goodbye. this is probably better, better than real prison. <laughs> like, basically, he's in prison. A weird simulation prison that he was signed up for by his wife but yeah he's in a prison because he's a murderer and i don't i don't think it's necessarily going to rehabilitate him either because he doesn't he's not like randomly violent he specifically is violent against a specific group of people for revenge purposes <laughs>
There, there we go. Ooh. A game by Dan Smith. Programming and design by Dan Smith, 3D art by somebody else, and so on. So not the not literally everything by him, but the programming and design was just by one person. That's a lot of work. Yeah, reasonably neat puzzles. Never got particularly stuck. But I'm kind of thankful for that because uh oh boy. Uh this I looked at this specific power that we had for puzzle solving in this game, and I'm like, I, I it was hard not to notice how blatantly that could be used for like some straight up like programming crazy ass abacus infuriatingly tedious puzzles. Like this 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 mo this particular uh puzzle style very, very much opened itself up to the possibility of being used for incredibly tedious puzzles. Maybe a more clever person could have come up with even cooler stuff than what I can think of, but all the stuff that I think of for harder puzzles for this thing seem like they'd just be awful. <laughs> so, uh, I was, I was, I was happy with what it went with, and the, uh, the story curve was intriguing. Largely, the story is almost never related to the puzzles themselves, and that's largely true here. You're just kind of doing weird color switching puzzles, and then boom, you beat the game. Here's the story. But uh, the story was intriguing enough in that it was told in a very specific manner where you kept asking questions, and it was relatively hard to get figure out what some of it was until near the end, uh, which... It's not because it's like a, a well-crafted mystery and it was just or anything like that. It's like it, it largely it was a It's largely just due to the information not being there until later But you know the uh, the layering of information from each chapter keeps you wanting to, to push forward and gives you a narrative arc and so on So that it feels like you started one place and ended somewhere else Even if you're ironically going in infinite loops uh, that gives you something to think about when the uh when otherwise it's just puzzles from start to end. Having some kind of arc is always helpful. Some people need a story. Sometimes just a celebration or everything coming together mechanically is satisfying, like in The Witness. But also, uh, this game did have a somewhat climactic ending thing where it uses all the mechanics so far in one final puzzle. Admittedly, not a huge list of mechanics. Uh, it was primarily... We had the the... The second floor, I think, was the infinite sp uh, block spawner. Th third floor was the grappling hook. And fourth floor was the wall walking. So it was just those three mechanics, more or less. But you ended up exploring a location that, that had something to do with the story itself. And then you were able to, like, walk on the ceiling through that and stuff. And that's 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 neato. Overall, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. Uh, not... It feels like it's kind of missing something to make it like in the t the upper echelon of like the the puzzle games that get come out a given year. But I don't really have any major complaints. the The one thing that bothered me really was just the fact that some of the puzzles were a little long, which isn't a problem in itself. But if you if you made a mistake with the colors or you fell off a ledge, you'd have to replay a decent chunk, and that was kind of frustrating at times. Just a quick save option would actually be really nice. Anyway guys, thanks for watching like always and I will see you next time.